So this is the original front disc brake design. And on the hub, there's these two studs that stick out with shoulders on them. This is the <clears throat> original equipment caliper. And I don't know if you can see in the video or not, but down in these holes, there's a shoulder that matches up with these. So the way this goes together is you put the inside pad on first over the studs, and then the caliper goes on. The caliper slides over those two studs and pushes on until it bottoms out. So those two flanges on the studs are up against the flanges inside this caliper. Then you put two nuts on here. Well, the problem with that is the caliper cannot float whatsoever. It's bolted in place. Then what you do is you put the outside pad on. These two bolts go through the caliper, and the outside pad gets bolted on like so. However, the only adjustment that's really here is when I took this apart, there were a number of washers in between the outside pad and the caliper. So I don't know what their thinking was, is as the outside pad wears, you have to reduce the number of washers to pull it in more, but this caliper does not float. That probably explains why these brakes were so such a bad design. It didn't work well. So the alternate design I've come up with, um, I machined this steel block, adapter block, that slides over the existing studs, and the caliper bolts to it the new caliper. So this block can slide in and out to allow the caliper to float. So I found this um, four piston motorcycle caliper that is designed for pretty much the same um, same diameter rotor as the city car has. So the motorcycle caliper just bolts to this adapter block and now it can float as the pads wear. So this is the assembled state. I found a uh, an AC Delco hose that goes from a metric banjo connector that's on the caliper that goes right into the bulkhead on the frame and then the existing uh, brake line from the city car just screws right in the end of it. 